Dreams has been a bit of a roller coaster lately. Back in April, Media Molecule announced live service support and future development for Dreams was coming to an end. With a dwindling player count, the future of Dreams seemed very much in question. Then, from out of nowhere, Media Molecule announces Dreams is finally coming to PlayStation Plus, both as a monthly game in August and indefinitely as part of the extra and premium service. What this means is Dreams is now available to 50 million PlayStation users on PS4 and PS5. As of this video, Dreams has had over 700,000 new users in the last month and there has been a whirlwind of player activity, the likes of which we've never seen before, not even when Dreams first launched, and it has been amazing to see. All the new players are getting to see Dreams at its very best with the creation toolset refined and complete, and an incredibly stacked roster of awesome indie games to play. How long this renewed interest in Dreams lasts is anyone's guess, but this announcement at least gives the future of Dreams a fighting chance. Our Dream of the Month goes to Pig Detective and the Beast of Boffington, a whopping six hour point and click like game that sees you uncovering all the secrets of Boffington Manor in this wickedly funny and very charming experience. It has been some time since we've got to do a Dream of the Month, so the honourable mentions list is a little stacked. Killfection is a post-apocalyptic zombie shooter with a full story campaign. Daily Observer is an enigmatic puzzle game you'll need several return trips to in order to solve. Street Saints 2 is an old-school Grand Theft Auto game with full mini sandbox to play in. Lake Juniper is a walking sim where you never know what's around the next corner. Adventures of a Toy 2 is a slightly epic game adaptation of Pixar's Toy Story 2. Feeding Ducks 2 is a resource collecting RPG with a sinister undertone to its jolly Minecraft like aesthetic. Hookshot is a massive puzzle game certain to scratch your portal itch. Last but certainly not least, Gemini Rising is an epic space adventure with many, many hours of gameplay. Dreams creation tools have had a massive update which refines and improves animating in Dreams, making it easier than ever and much more efficient. For those who want to learn more, we'll include a link to Media Molecule's Twitch stream that gives an overview of the changes. If you somehow missed it, Media Molecule have released a brand new game, Tren. Tren is a nostalgic trip back to simpler times where you navigate a toy train set through puzzles and hazards in the 95 courses on offer. This is the largest story campaign Media Molecule has made in over 10 years, and we called it a true return to form. We were lucky enough to have been invited to visit Media Molecule in their offices in Guildford, with a handful of other members of the Dreams community to get a sneak peek of Trent and meet some of the faces behind Dreams. If you want to hear more about our exciting backstage trip and our deep dive on Trent, make sure to check out our video all about the day. If you're interested in using your dreams projects such as artwork, music and filmmaking outside of dreams for commercial use, we've got some good news. Media Molecule has updated their usage rights policies and as long as your projects are original and meet certain other guidelines, you'll be able to export them outside of dreams and make some dollar dollar. While this has always been an option in the past, previously you needed to go through a formal application, but thankfully that is no longer required. Big shout out to all of our new Patreon supporters who have joined us in the last month. We are one of the last Dreams channels left standing and your support to keep us going really does mean the world to us. If you'd like to see your dream get a special feature on our channel, consider becoming a gold tier patron like Topaz Mackie, who recently released Rusty Recharged, a puzzle game where you play as this lovable lump of nuts and bolts, solving puzzles, cleaning floors, taking down this guy. Welcome to my facility. Are you the one the doctor sent to stop me? And so on. 
Mar Neblong, Dreams Resident Superstar Artist, has had their Horizon fan art featured in news articles including Eurogamer describing it as a spectacular homage. Lee has been playing Horizon Forbidden West recently to varying results. He's currently a million hours into the game and reports it's starting to get good. Kinda lost in the shuffle with everything going on lately, don't forget about DreamsCon 23. DreamsCon is Dream's annual community showcase, usually organised by Media Molecule. This year, it has been taken over by the community itself and transformed into a wonderful outdoor garden display, celebrating dreamers and teasing new projects. Sadly, we didn't have time for our own booth this year, but in a weird, unplanned tradition, we seem to skip every other dreams come. So if there's another one next year, we'll see you there. Dream Central, an interactive hub inspired by PlayStation Home, is one of those Dreams projects that has been worked on for years. It's recently had a new trailer that looks amazing and announces there's a beta coming on December 18th. If you've watched our latest Top 10 video, you might have noticed we had a very creepy, unscheduled interruption. The Anthology is a collection of creepy, surreal and odd creations, all designed by some of Dream's very finest horror creators. Me and Lee are big horror buffs, and this has got to be our most anticipated Dream's community event. It comes out this week on Friday, September 1st, and we have plans to draw the curtains, hide behind the ugly sofa and do a spooky live stream if you want to come give us some emotional support. That's it for this month's news video. With live support for Dreams coming to an end next month, we're not sure if Media Molecule will have any final surprises left in the tank, but we do know the audio importer is due to come back to Dreams very soon. With the game now finito, finished, we're not sure if this will be our last Dreams news video in this style. For community news and events, as well as top games, we may switch to just making videos when things happen. Let us know how you feel about that and what you think in the comments below. And why not give the video a like while you're down there? <laughs>